Hey guys, this is Mchivi Maxon again and in this this is the follow-up video uh, of the review I made for the Xeon steering wheel and as I promised this is a video where I'm going to show you how to make this steering wheel work in any game out there because we're going to be using the software called Xbox 360 controller emulator by Toka Edits it's the one that's going to be making the magic happen I'm gonna leave the link for the website in the description. So this is their website. You just come on down here and download the latest version. There's the 32 bit and 64. I already downloaded the 64 bit because I'm running Windows 10 64 bit. And since I already downloaded the software, it's right here. So what you're gonna do is extract here first. As you can see, it's extracted on the desktop here. I don't need this anymore. I can go ahead and delete it. I always like to empty my recycle bin. Uh, so after you're done there, you just open this software. Just double click it. But it's always, okay, let's first close it. But it's always recommended to run it as administrator. So let's first do this again. Run as administrator. Yes. And it will open up like this. It will say this. You just click on create. You don't have to worry about that. And just wait for it to bring this. So you get the USB connector for the steering wheel. And just go ahead and plug it into your computer. And it should detect it. As you can see, it has detected it. Uh, this is not necessary. You can just click cancel because it's not going to help you anyway. Uh, it's gonna tell me misconfigured device I'm just gonna click OK cancel here okay now I'm just gonna click on auto for it to be auto configured I'm gonna click yes and once it's auto configured uh, this this little box here should turn green instead of red and now you should know that your your device has been detected properly and can be configured right now so if you can see when I turn the steering wheel, let me make this full size. As you can see here on this controller, when I turn it, <coughs> when I turn the steering wheel, the controller shows that it's being turned here. If you can see that. And to see this, you might be viewing like in HD on YouTube. And first and foremost in this video, all we're gonna be concentrating on is the steering wheel and the pedals and accelerators because they are the most important things in this case so after the steering wheel you can see it's well configured and uh, now we're going to the pedals so when I click on the accelerator just some random button is pressed I guess it's the B button is it the B or D I don't know because I've never used the 360 controller before so as you can see random buttons are pressed when I press on the accelerator and the accelerator so that's the first thing that we need to fix first so as 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 I read online okay because I've never used the 360 controller the right trigger is used for acceleration in most games out there and the left trigger is used for braking and reverse so this is the left this is the right so the right trigger here, uh, what we first need to do is know the number of the con of the buttons for the accelerator and the accelerator. Every button on this steering wheel has a, uh, has a unique number, like from 0 or to around 12. Yeah, so you have to know the number. So to know that number, you can come to uh, controller settings. Mm. It's, is it the about game settings? Is it options? Okay, okay, let's not just go this way. This is going way into deep this software, and I don't want to confuse you because it I think it's already confusing as it is. So all you can do is just press press that button if you want to find out, and you will see the the button you press will be highlight highlighted here, as you can see the here the B button is highlighted with green and the number in front of it is button 3 so that means our accelerator is button 3 and our brakes and 
reverse the accelerator it's button first you can see why it's highlighted in green here in green text and the number before it no after it is button four so now we know the numbers for the accelerator and the accelerator all you have to do is go and set the triggers as you can see is trigger right trigger then you can send the left side there is also a trigger so since the light trigger the right trigger is the accelerator you're going to come here to this trigger and set it to button and come down here to button and set it to button three as you can see this button this button will be left empty automatically and as you can see when i when i press the accelerator now the right trigger is what is pressed on the software and as it indicates there on the right text side so now we are going to the left trigger and we're going to set it to four because that's our brakes and the accelerators and after i said that when i pressed the okay this button still still takes it okay you can go and, put, and address them to empty you can even go back to b to button b right here and put it to empty to make sure that they are empty and they are not using the same button to trigger two instances of two buttons so when you press it as you can see and i think we are done with the accelerator and the accelerator right now okay the y button still has four i'm gonna set it to empty to make sure that it doesn't trigger the y button and the left trigger as well so as you can see the accelerator is triggered and the deaccelerator is triggered as well so they are both gonna work in the games and the steering wheel works as well so there are lots of buttons on this steering wheel you can go ahead and set any button to any kind of function you want and this would be easier if you have a xbox 360 controller because you would know which what which button does and you can assign the buttons on this steering wheel because it has plenty of buttons i think it has around 12 buttons yeah around 12 10 to 12 buttons there and you can use the same method to set them and you can come to the b and just click on that button and find out what number it is and then just assign it so i can't show you how to assign all of this because this video would go like for 40 minutes and i don't want to waste your time so i just went through the basics and if you want more you can even go on their website as i showed you before uh, it's x it's x360ce.com but i'm gonna leave also a link down in the description and if you didn't watch the review of this steering wheel i'm gonna leave a link at the end of the video and in the description as well the gameplay while my nephew uses this steering wheel to game that on that i'm also gonna leave the link in the description and at the end of the video so the next step in this once you're done here all you have to click on is save and just as you can see there's this stem file that's been created here and once it's saved you just click on save i don't know why they don't show you that the, your work is saved but once you click save it will be saved so you can click now exit here and it will exit these two files will appear here as you can see so to make this work to make this work in your games you just come and select three of these files the three th the x360 ce uh, the exe file there is the info file and the dll file so you just copy these and just take them and paste them in where the game is located like in the directory where you install the game where the dot exe file for the game is found so i think i'm gonna cut this video short from here so if you did understand anything you can leave a comment down below you can ask any questions and i'll be happy to answer them guys so you can even leave a suggestion for a next video i make lots of videos but this is the the last videos were, were my, my very first reviews of any kind of product so thanks you guys for watching and i'm also going to leave a link to down to buy this steering wheel for for on ebay down below oh okay guys thanks you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video